Samsung Galaxy, the home to the Samsung S series, A series, and C series. But what's the difference between these different phone ranges? Okay, I'll explain it. So Samsung Mobile is very clever because they make smartphone devices and tablets that tap into almost every segment of the mobile market. So in this video, I'll explain the different Samsung mobile device ranges and give examples of their corresponding competitors from other smartphone brands. Okay, so let's start off with the easiest to define, the Z series. Is it Z or Z? Let's, let's go with Z. The Z series introduces innovative foldable designs catering to users seeking unique form factors and focuses on foldable smartphones with clamshell and book style options. It also te tends to be more expensive due to its foldable technology. It currently has two models, the Z Fold and the Z Flip. The Z Fold competes with phones like the OnePlus Open, Huawei Mate X3, Honor Magic V2 and other foldable phones. And then on the other hand, the Z Flip competes with uh, phones like the Motorola Razr Plus and the Oppo Find N3. On to the A series. The Galaxy A series is more budget friendly, offering entry level to mid range options at affordable prices. In terms of design and build, it usually is made of less premium materials like a plastic body to keep costs down. And A series phones still come with a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, which is honestly one of the things that I like about budget phones over flagships. The A-Series targets a broader market segment by having different phones to compete with different competitors in the market, and their performance improves the higher up the number goes. Let's look at the latest models in the A-Series, starting with the Galaxy A05, which competes with entry-level devices like the Mobicell iX Plus, Xiaomi Redmi A3, and the TechnoSpark 10. The Galaxy A15 can be compared to the Oppo A38 and the Realme C51. The Galaxy A25 can compare to the Huawei Y91 and the Huawei Nova 8. The A35 can compare to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro and the Huawei Nova 12i. And finally, the A55 can compare to the Vivo V25. And we also get the Galaxy Tab A, which competes with other budget-friendly tablets like the Amazon Fire, and the Huawei MatePad. Finally, we get the S-Series, the most popular of the Samsung ranges. The S-Series is Samsung's premium flagship line, starting at a much higher price point. S-Series phones use premium materials like glass and aluminium for a luxurious feel and also has a larger camera sensor and advanced features for superior photography. The S-Series competes with other premium flagship phones like the iPhone, Google Pixel 8 Pro, Xiaomi 14, and the Honor Magic 6 Pro. And also, in terms of tablets, the Galaxy Tab S is a premium tablet that competes with other premium tablets like the iPad and the OnePlus Pad. And just like that, we now know the difference between the Samsung Galaxy Z, A, and S series as well as their corresponding competing brands and devices. Let me know what topics you'd like me to look into and cover next and I'll explain it.